The marine environment is the largest yet most inaccessible, with 95% of the ocean still undiscovered. Technology slowly brings us closer to the unknown, but curiosity waits impatiently. Many people think about oceanic exploration and contemplate the visual experiences of marine biologists that fit the stereotype of working on submarines. However, there's so much more to marine ecology than what even has the potential to meet the human eye. The Antarctic blue whale is the largest animal on the planet, growing in length up to 98 feet. Its heart is the size of a small car, but arguably more remarkable is the fact that this is the loudest animal on Earth. Those who will never see it still have a chance to hear its calls at 188 decibels from hundreds of miles away. Many whales, including this one, use their calls or songs to communicate with others of their respective species. With clicks, whistles, and pulsed calls, sometimes in seemingly different languages, whales soothe, socialize, soothe, and warn. This cultural transmission is one of the many auditory wonders that shatters the boundaries of visual pleasantries for scientists seeking to learn about the ocean through qualitative observation. Too far beyond eight inches of laminated glass, about 90 different species of whale roam the waters, waiting for their songs to resonate before they breach. Biological, hydrological, ecological, and underwater acoustics all work together to bring us a deeper understanding of the presence of sound in life and water how it is produced, received, and transmitted, how it is used as a tool among entire ecosystems, and how it physically moves, reflects, reverberates, and interacts in soundscapes. These beyond-the-box physical studies helps us break apart aspects of life that we cannot relate to as humans, like singing at a volume more significant than that of a jet plane or grenade explosion. Marine bioacoustics is not only teaching us a great deal about the generality of life underwater, but the study is also opening our eyes and ears specifically to the possibilities of understanding individual whale calls and their overarching purposes. In other words, we are beginning to translate whale songs by examining individual calls and sounds, weeding out the noise and tuning in to intentional frequencies and their associated reactions. How are sounds collected in preparation for comparison and study in the effort to decode? Scientists use hydrophones and amplifiers accompanied by other submersible technologies to record sounds of underwater origin and make them audible to the human ear. In the music industry, audio engineers use digital audio workstations to isolate and mix tracks. Scientists use similar software in sound processing and analysis. Samples are filed and categorized by type into digital sheets and databases with their accompanying source information for organized accessibility. In addition to monitoring these sounds, scientists analyze the visual representation of the frequencies to identify potential patterns in the spectrograms. It is also no surprise to rising marine biologists that AI is exponentially revolutionizing whale translation. Scientists have historically been the middleman between nature and technology, but now more than ever, the work is being completed for us. Natural language processing is helping us acquire access to an underworld of cetaceans. Artificial neural networks based on the complex interactions of the human brain are being used to identify dolphin clicks, and scientists could apply the same technology to the recordings of whales. As said by Mikeller Text, a young researcher at the University of Basque Country, if our automatic human language analysis tools worked at finding patterns in other species' communication systems, they could help us construct a context for all animal communications. All we have to do is record and feed the algorithms of our own creation. SETI, otherwise known as the Cetacean Translation Initiative, is a nonprofit, interdisciplinary scientific and conservation organization that uses advanced machine learning to translate the communication of sperm whales. The Antarctic blue whale may hold the heart of the sea, but the sperm whale has the largest known brain in the universe. SETI is learning about their culturally unique Morse code style communication. The organization aims to use its findings to transform human understanding and connectivity. Dr. Roger Payne, principal advisor among other scientists in the late 1960s, started a conservation initiative called the Save the Whales Movement. His humpback whale recordings generated so much admiration that the movement eventually led to the creation of the Marine Mammal Protection Act in 1972. While humans naturally learn about the world through visual observation, whales often venture as deep as the twilight zone where light is limited and vocalization is essential. Combining unique approaches to research with developing technologies allows us to attain the necessary proximity to learn about the language of a whale. Listening carefully can be the difference in altering our perception of their songs from haunting to harmonic, and understanding these wondrous beings can create the opportunity to relate and sympathize. Large-scale whaling was only just abolished upon the record of the humpback, and several other whale populations have since escaped extinction. Using bioacoustics to aid in the translation of whale songs could be the start of another revolution in marine conservation.
Scientists in the unique position to exploit this naturally occurring art and ground-shaking emotion have the opportunity to give whales an even louder voice. 